I'm going to go through the basics of the microcomputer project. Here's the board. As I'm sure you're aware, you've probably got one of these by now. Uh, it's got a number, or it should have a number, on the bottom left hand corner. This is the board number. Uh, there should be between 1 and 16 of these, so if it's got any other number on it, I'll give it back to your teacher. What else have we got on the board? We have in the middle, we have this big round thing, it's the power source, this is the supercapacitor. We have this, which is the information port, that's what allows us to program the board. We have two inputs, or switches, uh, either side of the supercap, and we've also got two outputs, or lights, either side of the supercaps there, LEDs of course. Right in the middle here we have a Genie chip, this is a microcontroller and we have a transistor. Now this transistor allows us to have an output and the first two squares here are, an out are output holes and you see the second two squares here they are input holes. So in total we have one, two, three inputs and one, two, three outputs as well on the board. Okay, so how do we connect the board? That's what I want to go through. Uh, if we go to uh, our search box at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, I don't think you can see mine actually, and type in Circuit Wizard. Circuit Wizard 3.5 should pop up and what you need to do is select that. Whilst that is loading, I wanted to show you two other things I have. One is a USB extension cable. So that's got the old USB. I'm just going to pop back onto the camera, the old USB. And if I can find it, that's got a female USB. And I've also got this, which is called a Genie plug and play cable. That's got a USB and also an aux, aux fitting with a bit of hair on it. Right, so what do you need to do? You need to plug the USB from your Genie plug and play cable into any port on your computer. So I'm going to grab that, plug it in, and you should be able to hear a beep. If we then go back to Circuit Wizard, which should now be loaded up on screen, we will have one of a series of boxes because you're programming, you want to choose this one here, circuit with Genie flowchart, and you want to press OK. What should happen now is a box should pop up on screen which says a Genie plug and play cable has been connected to your computer. If this doesn't happen, there's a problem, it's going to see your teacher or unplug the plug and play cable and plug it back in would probably be the best bet. That's, that's a really good sign, okay. Next up, what we're doing, we're gonna to go to this programming tab on the right hand side. And for you programmers, this is what you're gonna be looking at through your sessions over the next couple of weeks. Let me just pop back over to the video. Right, we have our auxiliary connection and I need to, I'm just gonna come off of the video just so you can see what I'm doing. We need to plug that in there and we also need to plug in the USB for the USB extension into your computer. So that's the second USB which goes into your computer. You won't get a beep when that goes in I wouldn't have thought. And then what we need to do is you see the female USB there we need to push I'm trying to do this on screen, which is a little bit difficult. We need to make sure that goes into the female USB. Okay, so presently what's happening is we are charging, where is my little green stick? We are charging up the supercapacitor, which is acting like a battery, which is powering the microcontroller. The microcontroller is getting powered, but then it's communicating with this cable. This cable is going into your computer. So hopefully when we go back to Circuit Wizard, what we should see is a uh, chip connected to your computer or a genie play, a, a genie chip connected to your computer so we pop back and we go to there we go genie connected to your computer that's the first thing i want you to do get the genie connected to your computer okay 